If you've ever turned around a bag of potting soil, you may see a warning that says, not for use in indoor plants, lacks beneficial microorganisms. But just how important are beneficial microorganisms for sustaining good plant growth? Because plants are immobile, they are vulnerable to many different sorts of environmental stress factors, like exposure to heat, cold, drought, flood, lack of nutrients in the soil, pathogens, and many others. That's right, maybe the only thing worse than work in the coal mine is being a radish. That being said, part of the ways plants have evolved over millions of years has been through taking advantage of the microorganisms all around them for purposes like root protection or better absorption of nutrients. Nearby fungus and plant roots started working together 400 million years ago for such purposes and haven't looked back since. A botany article in the Scientifica journal sums it up. Root colonization by symbiotic microbes can raise crop yields by promoting the growth of both shoots and roots, by enhancing uptake, fixation, and or more efficient use of nutrients, by improving plants' resistance to pests, diseases, and abiotic stresses that include drought, salt, and other environmental conditions, and by enhancing plants' capacity for photosynthesis. End quote. One of the most well-known examples of small microbes coexisting and helping plants is mycorrhizal fungus, which can form a beneficial complex with over 80% of land plants and forms a connecting network with plant roots, providing them with physical protection and extra nutrients collected from the surrounding soil. In exchange for the valuable phosphorus the mycorrhizal fungus network collects for the plant roots, the plant provides the fungus with a carbon source for building blocks and sugar for energy. However, if there are more than enough nutrients in the surrounding soil, the plant will cut the fungus out of the deal and stop feeding it sugar. You definitely don't want to play a plant in poker. Another very well-known and important example of small microbes coexisting and helping plants is the nitrogen-fixing bacteria found in many legumes like soy, which take nitrogen out of the air and make them available as plant fertilizer. Farmers today even plant soy laced with nitrogen-fixing bacteria in between crops to replenish soil nitrogen, not to mention high concentrations of harmless or good soil microbes help outcompete bad microbes like pathogens that could hurt plants. And a German field study found sterile soil to be where the devastating root knot nematode could more effectively harm plants. Interestingly, many plant genes are able to be accessed by small microbes in the soil to help the plant against reactive oxygen species or pathogens, or to modify plant metabolism, or even to adjust photosynthesis. Like humans whose gut and skin have evolved with close relationships with beneficial bacteria, plants for sure have appreciated their own benefits.